Cable Scout Mobile is the mobile component of the network management software Cable Scout by Joe Software. Cable Scout Mobile is a native app and runs on Apple iOS, Android, and Windows 10. It's being displayed on an iPad here and runs on other tablets as well as on mobile phones. In the layer control view, visibility of the layers can be switched on and off. There are base layers in the background and overlay layers in the foreground. There can be many different data in the background, such as cadastral data, aerial photos, and other data from any GIS. In this demo, we are using here maps, base maps, which are also used in car navigation. There are different Cable Scout layers displayed in the foreground, and these can include buildings, ducts, and cables. Cable Scout calls all node the buildings, and these can include joints, connectors, cabinets, or real buildings, such as data centers. The big advantage of Cable Scout Mobile is that the work can be done completely offline. All background data and overlaying Cable Scout data are stored on a local device, and everything you see in this demo works offline. The main window shows the map. Zooming and panning is done by pinching and sliding gestures, and selection is done by tapping. Objects in the foreground can be selected in the map, and the feature editor is displayed, but we will discuss this in more detail later. The user can search for buildings, cables, ducts, or addresses. And as they enter information in the search field, the system shows a list of objects that fit this search. Tapping on one of the results opens the attributes in the feature editor. The feature editor shows the properties of an object. The headline shows the type, and below are the properties and the relations the object has to other features. Depending on the type of object, there is a list of functions available related to the record. As an example, all buildings, which can be connectors, cabinets, or houses, can have an internal view, and this button shows that an internal view is available. When the internal view first opens, the system will show a map of the floor. There may be many rooms shown in grey and racks in green. If the user clicks a rack, they can see the internal of the rack in the next view. Here, we can see the components, subcomponents, slots and ports shown in green and red. In the internal view, a user can select objects and the same feature editor is shown. And we can see that it has the name LP45 and the type or kind is patch panel. And we can also see another button with a function to show the connections of this component in a schematic map. This schematic map shows all components with all ports, subcomponents and slots. The selected component is placed in the center and the connected components are placed on the left and the right. The user can select objects again to see all properties and functions of the object. In the schematic map, we can see in detail the ports with their name and the count of the pins, the connection lines, which are labeled with the number of the fiber, number of the bundle, and the number of the fiber in the cable, and the color is the color of the fiber in reality. The bundles, as coloured ellipses, they show the real colour of the bundle in this cable kind. And finally, the services are shown at the connection lines. With the arrows on the right and left, the schematic map may be extended. The system searches the connections for every port and adds the next components to the map. As mentioned previously, the user can search for a service. If the service is selected, the map navigates to the position of the service and it is highlighted in the map. The function on the button in the editor shows the service in a service trace map. This map shows the service with all the components and connections that are used by this service. This function to show objects in the geographical map works for buildings, cables and ducts. If a cable is selected in the map, or was found by a search, the feature editor for the cable shows all the elements of the cable. There is the common information about the cable, such as length, cable kind, and start and end nodes in the upper scrollable part of the editor. In the lower part of the editor, the system shows all bundles and fibres with their colour, number and content. 
If there is a service using one of the fibers, the user can click on the service and open the feature editor and use all of the functionality to work with the service. The last part of this demo, Fault Traces, is shown on a Windows tablet. From an internal view of a rack, a user can select a port and insert an ODTR value. This starts a network trace from the port, and the location of any detected faults will be displayed. Additionally, the distance between the port and fault will be calculated, and a user may choose to activate the car navigation functionality within Cable Scout Mobile and be immediately directed to the fault location.